Hello, hello. I told you I would post and here I am posting. This is actually a draw with me and first of all, you probably saw what we're drawing because of the thumbnail, but yeah, it's gonna be mermaid themed and I first off went on on Pinterest and I prepared like some pins of where to like reference pins to help me to draw and then I started sketching and this is my third video on this channel I can't believe it that I'm actually posting <laughs> um, no maybe I should introduce myself because I haven't done that in like a while all right let's go there's not much to say about me so this will be rather short but I am 20 years old I am a girl if you can tell by my voice and I live in Germany and yeah my parents are originally from Turkey so I can I, my first language actually was Turkish and then German and in school I learned English and I as a kid I love to watch like English like YouTube videos and stuff so English for me was like easy to learn and I figured it out quite on my own it's, even though school actually helped but yeah and i'm like working on this girly's tail right now and if you're wondering why are you drawing a mermaid themed like drawing it's because i have been quite obsessed with like sea things lately like i said in my previous sketchbook tour i actually started watching one piece and that was because of my boyfriend and i started watching it in um i started watching it in may or april no already april it was like march april i started watching it and for a while now i've been having a little break on watching it but i really enjoyed it and therefore i do this mermaid type of drawing and I'm drawing like in the corner right now I'm sketching this girl out again but it didn't work out and I kept erasing and erasing it until like the paper got really thin and I was like so over it and then I sketched out something different but you will see me attempt like attempt this a couple of times until I was like no this actually took me three days to like sketch paint and the fourth day to edit it was like clips um, the first clips that they were about an hour then I had an other couple clips that were also longer than an hour and some clips that were just only 20 minutes because my phone would stop recording because I ran out of storage I moved on here you can see me I sketched out and the, like on the top I sketched out the girl again and I, I'm giving her a shark body. This I'm actually gonna erase because the girl on the corner side is gonna move there. Um, yeah. So I was talking One Piece. I didn't want to watch One Piece for a really long time. And my boyfriend then made me watch, actually. I watched like three episodes with him. And I didn't like, I didn't enjoy it that much. I thought the first like three episodes were kind of annoying because of Kobe. Mm. He just struck me the wrong way. I don't know. He, I found him so annoying. But after that, it got better. And when I was at Arlong Park, I started binging it. I, I really started binging it. And now I'm currently at approximately episode 300. Right now, I'm sketching out like the girl holding the shark like a plushie and I look at a bunch of references of people, of other people's drawing to get the pose right and after trial and error and after thinking it, overthinking it and after looking at people's bodies I got it right I think I got it good looking that's what I can say about that and yeah One Piece, Arlong Park like Nami and stuff there this is probably some spoilers, mild spoilers. Mm, it was really nice to watch. And 
I didn't like when I first like heard about my boyfriend constantly talked about One Piece for a while, and when I would like see like scenes on TikTok or stuff like that, I would like see over sexualized things of like Robin and Nami, and that what that's what turned me down. Or like I would see like pictures online of like One Piece characters that were way too over sexualized, and I was like that really turned me down from watching One Piece and but I'm watching Arlong Park, hearing about Robin's arc arc backstory, excuse me, um really really showed me like yeah, they have depth, like they're fleshed out characters and they're not just over sexualized. Therefore that's what actually really hooked me. And the story, Luffy love my boy Luffy and yeah and Chopper I don't know Chopper the cutest boy out there so I'm about to be done with the sketch I added some more background elements off camera as you probably can tell and now I'm still sketching and on the topic of anime I like I was obsessed with anime when I was like 12 to 14 years old and I would love watching anime but after that I like stopped for a while and now with One Piece I'm like trying to get back into it after when I stopped I actually switched over to K-dramas I, I still enjoy K-dramas but I don't I haven't been watching K-dramas or something like that very recently but as you can see my art style here looks really anime inspired manga inspired manga would be black and white but like yeah you you know what i'm you know what i mean and the reason for that is as you probably could tell in my last sketchbook tours um my style was way more simplified and the reason for that is i didn't draw like in 2019 i drew but not as much 2018 i still drew frequently but 2020 I basically didn't draw at all and 2021 when I was like getting back into it again I was struggling with faces bodies again a lot so I, I I've been drawing since I was like 12 years old longer even like 10 11 12 and I stopped for a while for like two years and getting back into it was really hard learning to draw bodies again like you have some muscle memory I won't deny that you probably still do, do know how to like draw simpler things and how to you know what does look right and what does look wrong but it was still a struggle so I simplified my art style and by doing that I just gave them dots for eyes for example I didn't give them like different face shapes I kept it really simple and the bodies I kept really simple too like they would look like they would look mm, like they had sausage limbs <laughs> but that's fine I still look back at it and I love it it looks cute it looks fine but now with the sketchbook I'm trying to get back into like what it was before even though my art before wasn't this good like this is not as good as I would want it to be but like my art got better and I'm happy about that but yeah it's more anime stylish again that's fine and the reason for like my more simpler style was like I also was obsessed with Adventure Time um, when I like get got back, got back into drawing in 2021 and I still love Adventure Time Adventure Time is one of my forever favorite shows and Adventure Time really like helped me no it like I was trying to get my driver's license and I would be like so stressed and Adventure Time was like there to calm me down and after Adventure Time I got obsessed with being puppy cat and I love 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 being puppy cat like being puppy cat is just and I was so happy when it was released on Netflix even though the episodes were already leaked but BBB and Puppy Cat definitely influenced my style by a lot. You'll probably look at this thumbnail and I dare you to watch a show, like a watch an episode of Being Puppy Cat and you will see my inspirations like come from Being Puppy Cat. 
I love Bean Puppy Kids so 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 much. It's like one of my favorite shows, one of my all-time favorite shows. Even though it's like so slow paced and stuff. And but <laughs> I don't know, it's like such a good show. For me at least. I, I showed it to my mom and she said it's boring. <laughs> But yeah, I love um, being puppy cat, and that's where a lot of my art inspiration actually comes from. And yeah, Adventure Time also plays a role in it, and lately, One Piece has been playing a role in it. On the topic of shows, I actually tend to get bored of shows quite easily, and yeah, but I've been like re watching some sitcoms again because I am at home. I am taking a gap year currently. I finished school last year. And I've been re-watching... I first watched Modern Family back in October. I got like COVID two times in a row. Um, which was no fun, but I, it gave me the chance to binge watch Modern Family. <laughs> and now I'm watching Modern Family again. And... I like it way more than How I Met Your Mother, I'm realizing. Because in How I Met Your Mother, it's mostly about, like, alcoholism. And, like, it's not about alcoholism, but they keep constantly drink. And, I don't know, it doesn't feel like... Like, it's fine to drink. People like their drinks, but it often felt like that's their entire purpose, to sit down and drink. And it felt like a bunch, like a lot of drinking, but it's still a good show, like... And the ending ruined it, but like, it's still a good show. In Modern Family, I feel like it's more like watching, like, you see the kids grow up. You see, like, how the kids actually start having a life for themselves and stuff. And that's, I think, it's more like living. <laughs> Which is, like, more interesting to me than, yeah. But my, uh, but how much you matter is still like fine. Oof, I'm rambling, rambling a lot about stuff. I don't know if anyone's actually interested in this. But now I painted the skin, or I gave like most of them a base color for their skin. I finished the painting of the tails, and yeah, then I'm doing the hair. And I decided for like a more curly style ah. <laughs> it's exhausting to watch this back knowing how much exhaustion it cost me to draw this because it's like so stressful when you're constantly filming yourself and people are coming in and out of your room because you still live at home and people are asking you what are you doing what the hell is this and you're like um <laughs> um <laughs> Um, but yeah, it turned out fine, and I love this piece, and I probably posted on TikTok and Instagram. I'm, I'm planning on posting stuff on Instagram, and I'm seeing a lot of artists, actually, that I quite enjoy on Instagram, and it's fun to look at their art. Now I'm erasing over some stuff. And I'm doing the skin of the girl holding the shark like a plushie. <laughs> yeah. This bit, this has been like, I don't, I didn't like the girl holding the shark plushie at first as much, but I don't know, she really grew on me. My favorite was like the shark and the girly eating their jello together. It looks so cute still and I'm looking at it right now and it's like so adorable and it turned out like finished when I finished it I really enjoyed it like looking at it it's just like so fun to look at it not to praise myself too much but I don't know it's so fun <laughs> oh, my biggest dream would be probably to create a show like Be and Puppy Cat I don't know anything about animation. I just know how to draw. And therefore, yeah, I don't know if that's ever gonna happen, but like seeing cutesy stuff, it's just, it's so much fun for me. 
and yeah my art style is mostly that cutesy stuff i i like i'm the biggest girly girl ever and i love sanrio stuff and real stuff is my favorite. Oh, right here, I'm fucking up the painting, the hair. <laughs> and then I ripped out a page on the like last page of this and I ripped it out and I glued it over it and I painted it again. There will be a cut soon. If you're wondering why, that's because I, I cried. <laughs> no, I didn't cry, but I had like tears in my head. I was about to have a nervous breakdown because of this, because of the hair and how it turned out. And then look, <laughs> it cut and I added some fish and I painted the sharks. And some jellyfish are there, but yeah, on the like upper corner, you can see my fake micron pants. These I bought off of AliExpress, and they they work. They're quite all right. And the reason for that is I am quite like I don't have a job. I don't have a lot of money, so I buy buy cheap stuff because I can't afford anything else. And yeah. I was talking about cutesy stuff. I am quite obsessed with like, I'm, I'm one of those Sanrio girlies. I'm obsessed with Sanrio. I have like a cinema roll plush actually. And I actually bought a plush off of AliExpress. Don't judge me. Um, like Hello Kitty X Chopper plush. It's, it's so adorable. It's so adorable. <laughs> and yeah, I, I enjoy all things Hello Kitty, Sanrio. And in general, cute stuff like cats. Cats are so adorable. There's actually like, if you leave me alone with the cat, like I'm content like for at least like ten hours. I babysat cats in 2021 in the summer, and I was like having my driver's lessons back then, and I. I'm such an anxious person, so that was like a lot for me, but like just being able to like Look after these cats and stuff. It calmed me down so much. It cats cats are amazing Yeah, I'm doing the line art now I've painted everything and I'm doing the line art and as you can see I like to go overboard with highlights actually it's so much fun for me and I hate doing line art. Line art is my least favorite thing to do. It's like you have to be precise. What does being precise mean? I'm quite messy. I like to work quite messy. I like, I can't draw a straight line for the hell of it. I can't do it. It's so like, when I see like people like drawing buildings and stuff, I'm like, how? Because like, you have to have you have to understand how the lines work and the lines have to be straight and like the perspective needs to work and stuff and I can't draw symmetrical things. <laughs> um, no, I struggle with it. Like ever since I was like a child with arts and crafts, I couldn't get it right. Mine looked always wonky, like they could fall off with like a wind blowing over them. That's, that was also always my struggle, like, I I can't do anything, like, looking straight. Actually, in school, when I was younger, we had, like, sewing. We had, like, a week where we could, like, try out different things, and one of them was sewing, and we had to, like, sew with, like, a machine, like, a pencil case or something like that, and mine, mine, mine looked the worst. <laughs> Mine actually looked horrible. <laughs> it was like, it didn't make sense. It wasn't symmetrical. You couldn't put in a single pen in there. <laughs> and the teacher was like, yeah, this isn't something for you. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> um, But I love actually work. I, I still love. But as a child, like, my favorite thing was arts and crafts, even though everything would turn out wonky and not symmetrical or straight. So I'm struggling with that. And, like, I am actually quite bad when it comes to, like, yeah, crafting things, building things. Actually, I was horrible at drawing. And, but I have, like, I have baby pictures or toddler pictures of me, like, drawing. I love drawing. I remember as a little child, this was, like, my favorite thing to do, to draw, even though I was horrible at it. Even though I couldn't get lines straight and everything looked wonky. 
And the same with like arts and crafty things like clay. I love like doing stuff with air drying clay and yeah, it looks wonky, but so be it. <laughs> now I'm adding the background actually, we're coming to an end here and it's looking cute. And I added like some blue, some green and some purple, reddish, red. Ish colors and now I'm adding stickers I bought these stickers off of the um, dollar store for like one buck one buck for each day well yeah I'm adding like these st stickers that look like water bubbles sort of and I'm going over again with some highlights and we're coming to an end here but but I love like my highlights, so therefore um, I tend to overdo it, and I know that. I tend to overdo it. Don't judge me for that. <laughs> I'm going in with like some line art thingies that I need to fix, and it was mainly eyes. But I fixed that, and now I'm going in with some glue on like because I. Like I told you, I screwed up the hair, so therefore I had to put some glue on it. And I think now we're coming to an end. You will see me write a note for you that says thank you for watching it, but that's all you're gonna hear from me now. Um, yeah, thank you for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you leave me a like, and I will see you soon. Probably not a draw with me because this was exhausting. <laughs> okay, bye bye now.